what's up youtube pj back with another video for you guys and today is actually a beautiful day outside but it is kind of hot that's why i feel like it was a good reason for me to wake up this morning and wash the car she's looking so good right about now but i'm not gonna spend too much time out here because like i said it is hot and i need to just get in my car and i have a few things i need to do so uh i'm looking at the car and i believe this deserves some b-roll So uh, y'all probably wondering why I have on this donut shirt, but I kind of like this shirt. My sister bought it for me back whenever she wanted us to do a photo shoot for my mom. It was a Christmas present from us. But uh, yeah, now it's time for me to let Bruce on out of here. There's you guys favorite husky. Hey, don't, hey, hey, go use the bathroom. Look out. Go use the bathroom, go. Update on his house. He now has AC. He has a light. God, Bruce, look at you. Boy, you just don't know you up in here living better than me. Got a house inside of a house. Water bowl that I need to fill up, actually. I'll be filling that up. Uh, he's not gonna drink that by the end of the day. So later on today, I'm gonna feed him, give him some more water, probably give him some treats or something. But yeah, that's the update on his house. Uh, I'm not gonna let him run around for too long just cause like I said, it's, it's actually very hot out here. It's like the middle of the day before 1.30, right before 1.30. But uh, oh yeah, let me show you all something. I finally have some good news on the Cobra. I'm back to full boost, so you already know what that means. Today might be the day that I have to do some data logging and get some good pulls in for y'all. Let me show y'all what was actually wrong with the Cobra. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, that's why you put your wiper blades back down before you open your hood. But what was actually wrong with the car? Okay, so like I said pre in the previous video, this was what we checked and we pulled off this vacuum line to figure out that it was something dealing with the boost bypass. I don't know what made me not check this, but okay, so there's this vacuum line and then this vacuum line under it. Nothing told me to chase this vacuum line all the way around the back and out onto this side and actually look at these lines right here. What I did was I had this with a nipple on the end and I had this one. My dumb self, I had both of these connected and this was actually like a release point for boost whenever you get on the throttle. This actually is like a I don't know it leaks into the atmosphere so with that not being able to do that because i had it closed off then the boost bypass valve could not act accordingly like how it's supposed to thus staying open for too long and leaking boost into the atmosphere that's my fault and it's finally ready to be data logged and ran against something you know 500 horsepower around 500 horsepower or less i don't know let me know in the comment section below the horsepower numbers that you guys are looking to see out of the terminator cobra and i am going to be having a data log video soon just because mikey did tell me that he would pay for it if i made over 450 and i'm almost guaranteed and almost certain that i make over 450 right now <laughs> Yeah, I really don't know why I keep doing this to myself. <laughs> I need to go straight to the gas station, as you can see. I really don't know what I would be doing right now had I not had any AC. <laughs> I'm so glad I fixed that. One thing that I have not told y'all, well, I forgot to tell y'all earlier, was I actually did a pull yesterday in my car, and when I went from second to third, yeah, my whole car just like crapped out on me and shut down, and my AFR gauge just said dot, 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 and I was like, well, blew up my car, but uh, then I got out, checked everything, and uh, good thing I had my tuner with me because I was able to read the code that it was throwing, and it actually ended up saying something about my fuel pump. My computer couldn't come in contact with my fuel rail pressure sensor. 
And so I thought I was gonna have to buy another one of those, but luckily Mikey asked me, did I check the fuses? When I installed my booster pump, um, it came with a 30 amp fuse and I was just like, okay, so it's just a 30 amp fuse. But I never had any instructions because I did buy it used and I'm sweating guys. But yeah, basically the YouTube video I watched to install it didn't tell me anything about swapping out the factory 20 amp fuse to a 30 amp fuse. So that's what I ended up having to do. I had to switch the fuel pump fuse under the hood to a 30 amp fuse. And that's actually what I'm on my way to do now. I'm going to AutoZone after I leave the gas station, get the fuse, put it in there, and then I should be good to go. Just stopped back at home right quick and guess who's over here? Hey y'all! Oh, here she goes. <laughs> y'all haven't seen her since a couple videos ago. And uh, yeah, now she's back in the vlog for at least today. But uh, yeah, how you like that little segment that I made for you? The little pop-up screen with your face? You know, the, 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 how you like that from the last video you was in? What we'll pop-up? Learning with Kier. A little pop up with your oh, face. Oh, that was super cute and so creative and thought. <laughs> wow. Well, we're going to have that every time you in the vlog. We're about to have that uh, segment in here. So, go ahead, quick thing, and just go ahead and tell them something that you want them to learn. <laughs> okay. It's one thing y'all don't know about us. Our favorite color. Who can tell me? Tell me down in the comments below. What they? What do y'all think our favorite color is? I'll give you a hint. It's on. The Cobra side. Are you just gonna take my camera like this? Yeah, but we about to try to get some good shots going with this little nasty looking thing right here. And then the Cobra. You already know I gotta give me some good shots of the Cobra. Alright, so I'm back at my grandma's house now and got Kane with me. I know y'all remember him from the previous videos we did together, but uh yeah, we about to see what this cobra has. I forgot my laptop at home, so I can't really dialogue, but it should be alright with the tune that I have on here. We just wanna see how different it is from the last time you drove it. What's your what's your initial thoughts on it? Uh concentrating right now. <laughs> Make sure he don't kill us. Yeah, basically. Nah, you said it's a lot faster though, guy. Gotta test it out. See if that's true or not for the vlog. Lord, okay. my clutch! <laughs> my clutch! You release so much higher than mine. Why my car sound like that? It's hurting. Probably because I wasn't in there all the way, but 
it, it don't feel that much faster. <laughs> uh, I, I probably I ain't getting it all the way either. I'm I'm gonna I'm cut it some slack, but no, <laughs> but no. It's the Genesis, bro. It, it got me it got me spoiled. I don't know how to explain it. That boy Kane, a hater, ain't it? Bitch. Oh, I hate that. Drop, drop the, drop the third. That's nearly. That boy holding that gear. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I ain't like, I got nervous. <laughs> I ain't never on the passenger side. Ooh! Yeah, that's the nerve when you're on the other side. Boy, my heart got to hurting. I ain't lying. <laughs> Whenever I see you climbing, I was like, man. But I'm good, though. I'm good. I saw we were still going straight. Come back around and get me. There he is. Ooh, can't a driver, ain't it? Ooh, that car look good. Look good. Boy, you a driver, huh? Yeah, I tried to tell you. <laughs> That boy sounded so good. That's how the Uber job be come pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brakes ain't that good. I kind of, I kind of found that out just a minute ago. <laughs> Like a random factor. 